the Bauhaus guys, they want you to say, okay, we're engineers and we're also artists, so we want to make things that people can understand. Most people think of Bauhaus through architecture or product design, you know, tables, chairs, and so on. Make it simple, make it easy to construct. And they thought the same could be brought to type. Throw away ornaments, throw away bits and pieces like serifs. There was this big obsession at the Bauhaus about geometry. If you have very limited parameters, like a square, the circle, the diagonal, the system is guiding you. This is maybe some kind of Bauhaus strategy and practice. One of the projects where we're trying to keep the Bauhaus heritage alive is a project with Adobe, focusing on typography. We gave him very little brief, just say, you know, take this and make it into type. None of them were really typefaces, they were sketches, exercises actually. As themselves, they are beautiful, whether they're letters or not. We've already seen some interesting dialogues with the students that are doing this with us. What I got is a sketch which retains a lot of handwriting atmosphere. It's not as wobbly as it looks in the reproduction, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks pretty straight. Creating a typeface based on just one sketch is quite difficult because I can't see enough what his goals as an artist were. And then there's some of them, we don't even really have the original sketches, we just have what they did with them. They made posters, so they are kind of applied already in, in all their primitiveness. We're finishing a project that we don't even know where it was supposed to go. We just put it out in the world and let it go.